Hi, my name is Jen, and I'm back with five more book recommendations for you as part of the Malden Public Library's ongoing series, Five and Five, in which we recommend five books in five minutes. Today, I'm going to recommend five books if you like James Patterson. His books are so popular, you'll probably find yourself on a long wait list for his newest book release. So I recommend these five books while you're waiting your turn. You can borrow these books from the library by clicking the link to our catalog below. If you enjoy this video, please like it and consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. My first book recommendation is Guilt by Association by Marsha Clark. Yes, that Marsha Clark. Los Angeles District Attorney Rachel Knight is a tenacious, wisecracking, and fiercely intelligent prosecutor in the city's most elite division. When her colleague Jake is found dead at a grisly motel, Rachel is shaken to the core. She is tasked to take over Jake's toughest case, the assault of a young woman from a prominent family. But she can't stop herself from digging deeper into Jake's death, a decision that exposes a world of power and violence and will have her risking her reputation and her life to find the truth. My second recommendation is Broken Places by Tracy Clark. Cops can make mistakes, even when they're not rookies. If anyone knows that, it's Cass Rains, who took a bullet two years ago after an incompetent colleague screwed up a tense confrontation with an armed suspect. Deeply traumatized by the incident, Cass resigned from the Chicago PD and is now the head of a one-woman private investigation agency, taking on just enough work to pay the bills. When Father Ray asked Cass to look into a recent spate of vandalism at his church, she readily agrees to handle the case. But only hours later, she's horrified to discover his murdered body in the church confessional. The lead detective assigned to the case is all too ready to dismiss it as an interrupted burglary gone wrong, just another statistic in a violent city. But Cass's instincts tell her otherwise, and badge or no badge, she intends to see justice done. My third recommendation is Never Let You Go by Chevy Stevens. 11 years ago, Lindsay Nash escaped into the night with her young daughter and left an abusive relationship. Her ex-husband, Andrew, was sent to jail and Lindsay started over with a new life. Now Lindsay is older and wiser with her own business and a teenage daughter who needs her more than ever. When Andrew is finally released from prison, Lindsay believes she has cut all ties and left the past behind her. But she gets the sense that someone is watching her and tracking her every move. Her new boyfriend is threatened, her home is invaded, and her daughter is shadowed. Lindsay is convinced it's her ex-husband, even though he claims he's a different person. But has he really changed? Or is the one who wants her dead closer to home than she thought? My fourth recommendation is Cross Her Heart by Sarah Pinborough. Lisa is living a lie and everyone is about to find out. Lisa lives for her daughter, Ava, her job, and her best friend, Marilyn. And when a handsome client shows an interest in her, Lisa starts daydreaming about sharing her life with him too. Maybe she's ready now. Maybe she can trust again. Maybe it's time to let her terrifying secret past go. But when her daughter rescues a boy from drowning, and their pictures are all over the news for everyone to see, Lisa's world explodes. And she finds everything she had built threatened. And not knowing who she can trust, it's up to Lisa to face her past in order to save what she holds dear. But someone has been pulling the strings, and that someone is determined that both Lisa and Ava must suffer. Because long ago, Lisa broke a promise and some promises aren't meant to be broken. My fifth recommendation is Find Her by Lisa Gardner. 
Flora Dane was just a college student on spring break in Florida when she was abducted and held for 472 days. Now, five years later, she is determined to never be a victim again. Armed with self-defense training, a keen sense of her surroundings, and pages ripped from the headlines about missing girls plastered to her bedroom walls, Flora sets out to rid the world of predators and regain her lost confidence. When another missing girl makes the nightly news, Flora believes she will find her, even if it means putting her own life on the line once more. Thank you for joining me for today's five and five. You can request these books through the link to our catalog in the description. We'll see you next week.